Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Jemiah Monet. <laughs> that is Jamaica without the C. Monet like the artist, that is me. What's up, what's goody, my bad babies? How y'all doing? So today was supposed to be a Q&A, but I really don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I just want to like chit chat because like y'all I'm a little stressed like I'm a little stressed so we're gonna do this makeup um but this is like I'm still practicing doing my makeup so I'm gonna do this look without lashes like and y'all can just imagine how it would look with lashes but me and strip lashes do not get along um I don't know what it is but I cannot put the mugs on. Like, I just still need practice with that because it be stressing me out. It be stressing me out. If ain't nobody never tell you, girl, you gorgeous. Go fuck around and make me buy you all sorts of shit. Body banging like a not a lady Porsche whip. I wouldn't mind if you wanted to. I'm a little stressed. So, let's get into it. So, I'm first priming my face. This primer. And I'm using the NYX Bear With Me Primer. And this is the primer I'm using. I've been using this primer for a while. If you follow me on social media, you know I've been practicing doing makeup on myself for a little minute now. You know what I'm saying? And they be like, some people like, well, why you ain't do this while you were in high school? Um, because my parent, my mom, she does not wear makeup <laughs> at all. So there's never any makeup in this house. No. Um, I am going to answer just a few questions, probably like three or five questions. Yeah, three or five questions that um was asked that I just want to touch on just a little bit. Now I'm going in with the brow glue because this is how I do my brows. Um, I tried the whole, as y'all, if you know, like if you follow me on um, the gram, you know, like I've tried the whole pencil thing and all that good stuff. But my lashes are pretty darn good on their own, so. Oh, what am I doing? Hold on, hold on real quick, hold on, okay. All right, y'all, I'm back. I had to go get my iPad because I use this as a mirror because it's, like, huge. I use it as a mirror to do my oh, face to get the close-up, especially while I'm recording. I can't be in my huge mirror that's behind y'all, so I'm going to use my iPad as a close-up mirror. And with this brow glue, all I really do is just comb out my brow hairs, brow hairs to get them to go like one way. And I really try to focus this glue like right in the top part of my brow because that's the thickest part. And it's like, oh my god. And I'm left handed, so trying to do my left brow is like the hardest thing ever. So 
So I'm gonna let these dry, let this glue dry. But I don't know if I showed you guys, this is the brow glue that I use and this is by NYX also. A lot of these products that I use on my face are super affordable. You can find it at your local Target. Um, yeah, I'm just, while I'm practicing how to do makeup and I'm not a pro at it yet, like, or I'm not even like at least decent at it yet, I'm not gonna buy high-end makeup. I'm going to continue to buy affordable makeup. And honestly, I might just always buy affordable makeup um, honestly, because like it, it's working for me, so yeah. But anywho, while these brows dry, I'm just stressed, y'all. Like I was supposed to do this Q and A. I promise you, I tried to record this Q and A like twice. Um, this month of September. This month of September. I've been giving my body a break. Like, I haven't been getting my lashes done. I haven't been getting my hair done. I haven't got my toes done. I haven't got my nails done. Um, I just really needed... My body just really needed a break because I've been getting my... I've been taking care of myself for, like, the past five months. Like, back to back to back to back to back. Been on point. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, my fingernails are starting to feel different. My hair is growing but it hasn't breathed yet so it need i i know you have to let your hair breathe so I'm, i've been letting my hair breathe my lashes i cut my lashes um off like a little minute ago and my lash tech was not pleased so this is my time to just let my lashes grow back i put coconut oil on them after i scrub my face but i haven't yet because i'm about to do my makeup so after i take this makeup off go rewash my face i'll come back and put some coconut oil on my lashes but i'm trying to get them to grow back longer and honestly my bottom lashes have been flourishing like my bottom lashes are coming along and um, i'm about to go get my lashes done again and that's this is where the dilemma comes in so i took this whole month break off it's honestly was supposed to be two months break but i'm about to do something in october so yeah like i gotta get my hair done like and then honestly, I haven't been filming because my hair hasn't been done. Like, I do these two twists every now and, now and again myself, these two strand twists. And that's all I can do because I can't braid. And just wearing my hair out is really frustrating. Like, I live in Florida. It gets so hot. And then to have this big old bush and it's long. So it's all over my neck and stuff and i'll be sweating and i just can't like it's just too much like i can't <laughs> like i can't so i don't um i know like when you're trying to grow your hair long because i'm trying to get my hair like long long like i'm trying to get my hair dummy long so i know you can't be like constantly putting it up in ponytails like ponytails aren't good so that's why i do these two strand twists and stuff like that i do protective styles but y'all this this trip that I'm about to go on is so last minute. That is so frustrating because, like, I was going to get someone. I tried to get someone to do, like, um, some twist in my hair. Come to find out she be really scamming. Like, she's a scammer. That's what she does. She scams. So, yeah. So that's disappointing. Like, that's so disappointing. Um, but she didn't get me, so I really don't care. Cash App stopped all that. Because I never had that happen to me before where I tried to cash out somebody and then cash out like, no, no, we're going to refund you your money. This cash is like, this is just going to fail. Like, we're going to fail it. And not only did they do that once, they did that twice. I didn't try a third time because why? why? Two times is enough. Like, cash out was just not having it. So that was already a red flag. And then I was talking it over with my mom. I was talking it over with my cousin. I was talking it over with my sister. And they was trying to look the girl up on Facebook as well. And they couldn't find her on Facebook. Like her profile was just not popping up. Red flag number two. And then red flag number three was, you know, I, I still DM'd her and all that good stuff to see, you know, not about the cash out situation, but to see like, where's her shop like where does she do hair at and stuff like that come and find out girl talking about oh i travel i can travel to you and i'm like 
no, I want to come to you. You're not coming to me, right? Like, I'm not going to just give my address out. So, like, do you have a shop or do you do, like, hair out of your place? If that's the case, like, I respect the whole, oh, I'm going to send you the address 24 hours beforehand because, again, you don't want people to just be having your address like that. So, I respect that. No, she kept trying to push the issue. She was like, no, I'll come to you, I'll come to you, I'll come to you. And if I come to you, that's going to be an extra travel fee. And I'm like, why would there be an extra travel fee when I'm letting you know that I prefer to come to you? Red flag number three. And she just kept pushing it, kept pushing it, kept pushing it. And I'm like, nah, whatever, boo. I'm good on you. Which sucks, though, because, like, I really need my hair done. So... Fast forward to now, I have a wig that um that's in my closet that Yanni has already previously installed. It's the Scion Show um wig. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check out that video. I'm going to have one of those cards up here so you can click the card, check out that video. But yeah, so I'm like, you know what? If push comes to shove, I'm going to just have her reinstall that wig. But I really want a new wig. Like, um, I watch Nessa Nessa on YouTube and she a little short, cute little Asian thing. And she had this like um Tanache hair wig. Like it was a bob. It was so cute. It was like curly and stuff. So I'm like, I wanna like recreate that look because that look was like giving grown sexy but like fun. And what I'm about to do during my trip is just like grown sexy fun like I just want to do some real fun fall stuff so I ordered the wig <laughs> I ordered the wig Sunday I really need to come Thursday like if it comes Thursday then I'm in the clear I'm just stressed because I don't know if it's gonna come in time so like y'all pray for me <laughs> like y'all may see it before I even post this video but like just know like before I look the way I look if you know if it does come in time like just know i'm stressed right now I'm stressed because i don't know if my hair is gonna come in time like my hair is like the biggest thing i'm stressed i don't know what's going on anymore <laughs> like, i'm just stressed i'm just stressed so i'm really excited for this trip though because this trip is gonna be like it's gonna be like a mini vacation it's gonna be like a little relief or whatnot see this is why i couldn't do this q a because like i'm not focused to do a q a right now like i'm like legit all over the place but let's get back to this makeup. I'm about to conceal underneath my brows. So I'm using the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer by NYX. So, yeah. But that's what's been going on. Like, I've been just so stressed. Um, one of the questions that was asked um, for my Q&A was, how do you get over, like, an ex-lover? Or how do, yeah, have, how, how do you get over a love? You know what I'm saying? Like, you just, oh, so in love with this person. I guess they did you wrong. And you just want to know, like, how do you get through it? How do you get over it? Because... A lot of people that know me know that I've been with my first love for like the longest time ever. And honestly, I still talk to him to this day. Like not talk to him as in like relationship wise, but talk to him as like a friend because like at the end of the day, I don't know how y'all relationship started, but my relationship started based on a friendship. So it was, so it's like, like, I can't cut this person completely off. Um, I probably can't eventually down the line because I've stopped a lot of things. Like, I've really created some major boundaries. And I think that's that's something y'all should start doing. Create some major boundaries. Like, like make sure y'all, like, not doing, like, really closey stuff. Like, don't be going on, like, dates unless y'all trying to fix the relationship. You know what I'm saying? And my person is different from y'all person. Like, my person, he's dummy consistent. Like, dummy consistent. Dummy consistent. And not only is he consistent, he's persistent. So, he, he's consistent in the way, like, he calls and check-ups every day. Like, 
he makes sure he like sends me some type of message like every day because he wants to fix our relationship but it's like a lot of damage have been done to the point where like we honestly just need to like break it off if we gonna get back together it's gonna be on a very clean slate but right now like we have a lot of issues and getting back together is just not great for my mental health and it's not good for his health mental health either because he was driving himself crazy at one point so it's like that's no like you're becoming a totally different person i'm becoming a totally different person we're not on the same track we're not on the same mindset we're not thinking as one i was like we need to just no we're not doing this like we're breaking up i'm over it da, 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 da. like this is not healthy and i'm not doing it no more so sometimes you gotta come to those realizations sometimes you gotta come to them points like where you just like no like no if you care about yourself that's the thing you got to care about yourself care about yourself and you'll get through it i promise you and like just find stuff to do legit find stuff to do like i got more into youtube i got more into youtube i do little things here and there I like to spray my sponges by the way y'all um with setting spray some people spray it with water i just spray it with setting spray mm -hmm. it works for me it just helps blend you know what i'm saying but y'all don't be having those crazy blends it helps blend but yeah again i still talk to my person so i guess some people would say like she's not completely over him i mean i talk to other people too i've actually tried to and that's another thing like they say to completely get over somebody they said try and get into other situations i've tried that but i have this issue where i compare and contrast people i do and then not only that dudes nowadays are weird like and it's not like a weird like you can't deal with weird because i'm weird but i'm not like difficult weird i'm like huh she did that but like i don't do it all the time like type stuff weird these dudes are weird like i i could tell you like me and my first love have been broken up for like almost a year now like where it's been like actual breaking up not no breaking up we still talking flirting and trying to you know do each other it's been like a real breakup like we barely speak to each other um mostly on my part but still it's like a real breakup it's like we barely speak to each other what we do it's like a simple little text or a call like to check up but it doesn't last long it's like we're on the phone for like 10 minutes or so so it's like it's not like it used to be where it's like every day all day type stuff it's like real limited so i've i've tried talking to other people i'm still trying to talk to other people it's not like i've stopped trying i'm still trying but again dudes are weird so i meet a lot of dudes in person there's only like two dudes that i've tried to talk to that was online just two and that's it like i really don't like to try and talk to dudes that's online because those online only dudes are definitely some weirdos like you don't want to meet up in person and do something like mutual like you're a weirdo so i really try to stay clear of those type of people but anywho like yeah so the dudes that i've seen in person like i met dudes at grocery stores i work for my uncle he's a promoter him and his friends sometimes and i work the door for them so i meet a lot of dudes at the different clubs and stuff that i work at like at the events and those dudes are weird too it's like for one one thing's one like one thing's one <laughs> one thing's one like i have my own money yeah i don't mind to you know spending money on it but like i have my own money so it's like when they automatically come off right off the bat like you need me for my money type thing it's like i'm cutting you off <laughs> like there's no explanation there's no trying to redeem yourself like i'm cutting you off because like if i need you for your money then i would still be trying to cling on to you you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to like 
get you for everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to milk it dry. And I'm not. Like, I came to you real chill, real cordial. We ain't even talking about money. We just talking. Like, we just having normal conversations. Like, I stay by the beach. You don't stay by the beach. You stay in a city downtown. You trying to see if we can meet up on the beach, do some real fun, casual beach day stuff. Or are you trying to, like, slide to the mall and just see, like, you know, just hang out. We have movie theaters in the mall. We can go to the movies. Like, I'm not... You know, I'm not difficult. I'm chill. We can go go karting. You, we can go to Celebration Station. We can, you know, we can just do some real fun stuff, real fun, real fun, simple. I'm not talking about let's go to International Plaza, where all the high end stuff is, where Louis Vuitton and all that good stuff at, or let's go to the outlets and all that. Like I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm real chill. I'm real calm. I'm cool, calm, relaxed. I like to do fun, adventurous stuff. I'm not going paintballing. But I'll go other places, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, they real weird on that. And then, then you got the other ones that I've known forever. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I grew up with y'all. Okay, y'all showing me y'all that y'all interested in me. I knew y'all was interested back in the day. Nothing's new, right? But I'm, I'm willing to give it a try this go around, right? Mind you, I know y'all. Like, I know y'all. We either, we either started at middle school through high school to now, or we started from little league elementary from till now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know y'all. And this is why I had to even stop, like, blending. Because it's like, why y'all be really trying me? Like, I know y'all. Like, I know you. I know your family members. We're from the same community. Like, why are you really trying it, right? These, like, these dudes that honestly tick me off and they make me so mad, bro. <laughs> they make me so mad. Because it's like, for one, I I really try to steer clear from guys with kids only because, especially guys with kids that stay in my community, I know for a fact you're not done with your baby mom. Like, I see it on Facebook all the time. Like, I see it on Facebook all the time. So I know you're not done with your baby mom. Not only that, here go the ones with girlfriends that stay in my community, that I follow your family, I follow your sister, I follow your mom on social medias, not just Facebook, not just Instagram, Snapchat also, and also Twitter. I follow your people, and you trying to play me. <laughs> like, I don't know you don't have a girlfriend. Like, you you really sliding into my DMs, being all cutesy and stuff, trying to flirt and stuff, and you have a whole girlfriend out here, like... And you think I'm just going to be cool with that? But then the biggest issue out of everything, bro, out of everything, bro, is I'm not out here popping pussy. I'm just not. Like, everybody can't get this. And I mean, like, I'm being real stingy with my coochie type stuff. Like, I'm not popping pussy. And then that's another thing. Like, some of these dudes want to just a little sneaky link. I understand that. And I tell you off rip. I tell you in the beginning, if you're just if you looking for a little thing that you just want to slide into every now and then, I'm not your girl. I'm not your girl. Like, I'm not out here popping pussy. And I tell y'all that. Like, I tell y'all that. I legit tell y'all that. So... There's that. I'm about to put on foundation. Foundation. I use e.l.f. foundation in two different colors. I use it in the color cocoa and nutmeg. And I mix them together and apply it on my face. And that's how I somewhat get my shade. I still don't think this is my shade, but I somewhat get my shade. And I do three pumps of each color to get a semi-full coverage look. But yeah, yeah, that's what I be going through. So that's why people be like, Jemaine, why you ain't got me in? That reason right there. That reason right there. Or some people think I'm still with my first love because of that reason right there. Like... And it's like, yo, I legit tried to talk to other people. Like, it's not like 
I'm stuck on stupid. Like, it's like I tried, but dudes out here with the dumb stuff. They on something that I'm not on. And I'm on something they ain't on, you know what I'm saying? I go through that a lot. Like, I go through that a lot. But it's just like, I have a right to be stingy, though. I do. Like, I have a right to be stingy. I have a right to be picky. Because one thing I know for a fact that if, you know, I'm giving it up, that means I don't mind this person being my baby daddy. Like, real talk. And that's how I think about it. Like, from my upbringing and how I was raised, you got to be picky with who you want your baby daddy to be. Like, anybody can't just be, any and everybody just can't be a baby daddy. And that's period. Like, be with. In that way. And I'm dumbly picky on who I choose to spend time with. So if you get that chance to even to even take me out, you know, to even get me out the house, because I'm a homebody and all my friends know, like, Jemiah will stay in the house. Like, if it's not beneficial to me, I will be home in my house. And that's on period. Like, y'all not finna just have me out and about for no reason at all. So, oh, there's that. Like, people really be out here trying it. And then they be trying me. Like, and I'm not the one to try. Like, I'm really not. So, I'm going back in with that same concealer. The Can't Stop, Won't Stop NYX concealer in the color Golden Honey. Just to get my in a corner. Like that. And I only put a little bit there because this is a really like yellowy shade and sometimes it can make it too bright and I don't want my face to be too bright. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I go in with my neutral color concealer. Same, same concealer, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in the color cappuccino which is my neutral color shade is more of a peachy orange type of undertone and this is the one i go heavy Back to that golden honey color because there's a few places that I didn't I like. I would like to. I forgot that nose. Nose bridge. And I just do a little bit on my chin, but then go right back with that neutral color. <clears throat> And go crazy on the chin, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, mm, mm. Okay, touch your forehead. And then I'm going in with the color CW zero point eight. And same concealer the next. Um it is not 0 0.8. It's CW08.8 .8 in the color expresso. It actually has the color on the side. I didn't know that. Yes, sir. I made that forehead smaller. Get that chin. Yup, 
And then I like to let this concealer dry down for a little bit and then I'm gonna go in and blend it. All right, um, second question that I am going to answer on here is why, why did I start YouTube? And I started doing YouTube again. I do YouTube, I try, if y'all is not new to the channel, I tried doing YouTube like a year ago. And YouTube is just something like I'm trying to grow into. But I really started it because like I like I used to enjoy really like being on YouTube, watching YouTube, watching other influencers and stuff like that. And lately it's been getting boring. And I'm like, why not bring myself to the mix? Because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that's thinking it's getting boring. And I'm like, I could do this. Like I'm. In my head, I'll be like, yo, I can do this. Like, it's a lot of stuff on here that is like, to me, is real simple and I can do. The only issue is the whole consistent part. And and being consistent is not like, it's hard to make videos. It's not hard to make videos. It may be hard to come up, come up with some video ideas, but it's not hard to make the video. What's hard is editing these videos. Oh my gosh. Because I edit stuff myself. So all these little pop-ups and animations that you see I've did I've done all that myself my intro I did that myself my outro I did that myself I'm still working on my banner because I just want it to be different you know what I'm saying but I, I do all that stuff myself all these graphics all these edits done by me so that's one of the hard parts right so that's where this whole consistent thing like really hurts because in order to really grow your subscribers or your channel you got to be consistent you got to be real consistent those like in the beginning and people and really you're supposed to be dropping like two three videos a week i drop one video every week i'm gonna go I'm, i know for a fact that it's gonna be a slow process this is gonna be a slow growing process but um excuse me i burped again <laughs> but for real like this is just me that's because i'm doing everything myself like you know what i'm saying and i try and get my brothers into a few videos as y'all see like my family i try to get my family involved my siblings mostly so like hopefully that helps me grow my channel um i for some people that's gonna come on here and be like so you're just using your family to get large no because i pour into my family they can tell you like i i'm really out there like i'm really helping out like I love my peeps, you know, I love my household, I love my outer household, I love the people that love me, real talk, like, I'm very loyal, I'm there for you if you need that help, as long as you haven't crossed me before, now, if you crossed me before, and you don't want to speak on your dirt, and you want to be like, oh, she ain't this, she ain't that, because you know you did something to me, so now I really done cut you off, and now I really don't mess with you, so now you mad, like, you mad, and it's your fault, don't do that, don't do that. So now let's get into this. I used that one. That's pretty dirty. I used that one yesterday. So we're going to go into a new one. Get me a new beauty blender. Spray that. Because I use both sides. So spray both sides. And let's start blending this. I always like to start on my chin area. y'all blending is intense <laughs> blending is so intense because it's like yo like you be like am i getting it and sorry if i'm like looking past the camera or like i'm looking here and here too much like y'all just stick with me like this is more so a chit chat and y'all see i'm trying to do my makeup so i have this huge mirror behind the camera and i have my little one right here which is my ipad but i'm trying to see how it looks from afar and how it looks up close like i'm trying to get both of them I'm trying to see 
make sure I ain't out here looking crazy, y'all. Like, cause some people won't tell you when you out here looking crazy with your makeup, and I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, tell me, let me know. And even though like I always blend the left side of my face like the best I always do I struggle like this is like I legit like it's hard to because like my hand movement and stuff ain't the same when I'm doing it over here like on my right side like it's being left-handed like sometimes really sucks like <laughs> like you be like real deal struggling trying to do like the most simplest stuff like I'll be real life struggling. Knock the man off your clothes last sweater. Ho get her, go villa. Fuck your furs, I wouldn't got both killers. I rock with niggas like fabulous. Cause to tell the truth, baby, life fabulous. But you make it look glamorous. Your spaghetti strap heels, not for amateurs. But yeah, I started doing YouTube because I just felt like I could do it. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I really felt though as though I could like really jump into this and do it. I'm not saying like I could jump into this and get big immediately, but like I'm moving, like I'm making progress, you know what I'm saying? So um don't forget to subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and then watch my video. Like y'all be really playing games. A lot of y'all don't be watching my video all the way through. Y'all be real deal like skipping. But I appreciate the views. Like, I, I appreciate you just clicking on this video, though. Like, I'm not going to be, like, half slain, y'all. But, you know, because I ain't making money off of these videos yet. Yet. <laughs> yeah, but. Right now, I'm just having fun with it. I think that's what a lot of people that start YouTube forget to do. To have fun with it. Like, a lot of people, like really be trying to make money like right off the bat like y'all gotta have fun with it like gotta have fun with it because if you ain't having fun with it then you really making it like a job and what i picked up from other influencers is that like if you make it a job then it ain't really gonna be fulfilling like because there's a lot of youtubers that have quit youtube because it became a job and it was no longer becoming fun. This quite rocky, talk like Foxy, job like Roxy, spark that broccoli, walk quite Aki, that means sexy. I will save you if you let me fly with me, get high as me. A lot of alphabets, girl, I'm a G. Time will tell, Rolex watches, we show stoppers, hoes just watching. I got a bunch of dollars, I can spend them all. And I don't know about some of y'all, but I do know about me. And when I use a beauty blender, a beauty sponge, I use every part of these beauty sponge. Because I use the um Real Technique beauty sponges, and this one isn't. I think I got this one from Five Below. I got Lucky. You can find, like, imitations of these because they might be a little expensive to some to some they're actually to me they're pretty affordable i got two of them for five dollars but you can get these at um five below you can find a bunch of cute little imitation sponges at five below so again everything that i got here y'all is affordable like i'm not kidding like again i was not finna go spend buku money on makeup Knowing I'm not even a pro at it, you know what I'm saying? Open up the door to the financial state house. She used to fight with her mom till I set them both down. Now she tight with her mom. Yeah, I put the ice on her arm. Now she knows she getting sliced with the nights in Milan. We still blow weed together. Cheating on her, but we still gon' be together. Put the house on the water, hit the beach when. My baby girl, and that's the issue. Girl, you know I miss you. I just wanna kiss you. And this is my once over brush. But I can't right now, so baby, kiss me through the phone.
make sure I'm blending guys like I gotta make sure that I'm blending like I'm not out here looking crazy even though I'm not gonna have any lashes on so I might look a little crazy well, let's move into this powder so and powder I'm going to use the elf powder in medium beige it's their halo glow setting powder and again um not even again but everything i'm using will be linked down below so you guys can check it out going to let that powder sit let's go into another question that was big that you guys were asking me um another big question you guys were asking me was what is something that what is something that i struggle with and just something neutral that i struggle with that i know a lot of people probably struggle with is procrastination I'm a procrastinator always been <laughs> like I'm a procrastinator yes that's something I do I procrastinate um I've been slowly getting out of it like as y'all can see like on YouTube like I've been mad consistent like right now I'm applying some tinted blush to my cheeks <laughs> And this tinted blush is by NYX. It's called Sweet Cheeks and it is in the color Baby Doll. So, yes. I also got blush that I'm gonna top after I blend this stuff in, but I like to go in with the tinted blush because this blush is more like a little warm. So I like, I don't want my cheeks too pinky. I want them to be like this soft warm color. And I realized like, cause this alone, wasn't popping you know what i'm saying so i started using this with this and i realized like you can now you can see like the blush you know what i'm saying so i'm also going to go in with the elf putty blush in the color turks and caicos but that's in a little bit but yeah so i struggle with procrastination i mean everybody does everybody gets into those moves where they just don't they don't want to you know and I'm going to bronze my face with the NYX Matte Bronzer. Um, this is in the color Medium. <laughs> gots to get this forehead, y'all. Like, gots to get that forehead. Period. <laughs> So, while we letting this stuff set and dry, um, another thing that I truly struggle with is like I've been battling an illness for like the longest time ever. Like a lot of people don't know, but I had this illness 
Um, it started in middle school, right? Oh gosh, it's like every other illness. Um, it comes and goes. So I'm always good at one point and then I'm always really bad at the next. So it's like, it's real up and down. And last year, December 31st, to be correct, December 31st, I had surgery for this um illness to see if I could like remove it, get rid of it, stop dealing with it. But it's a genetic hereditary type of illness. So those are like the most difficult type of illness more than likely, you could probably, like, never get rid of it, right? But you always got to take that chance, right? So I had two major surgeries. One, because I let it get, like, super bad to the point where, like, they couldn't go in and remove it. They had to, like, drain my body, like, get, just get everything out because it got, um, it got infected. So it was getting, it was getting bad and it was spreading throughout my whole entire body instead of just staying in one place like it normally does. So I've been going through that. Like it is, I really, I wouldn't wish this on like my worst enemy because like it's terrible. It is honestly the baddest thing ever. Like it's so, and it's so annoying. Like it's so annoying. So, um, it is palatal disease and what it does is it attacks my butt, like it attacks my butt and it gets in between, like it's, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's like, it's like little pockets that fill with like, like it fills with pus and it becomes abscesses and assists and all that good stuff. And it's extremely painful. Like I can never do anything when it comes, like I'm constantly laying on my stomach cause that's the only thing I can do. I can't bend down. I can barely sit, I can barely walk. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm constantly just laying around and out and about and stuff like that. So it is the worst thing ever. I deal with that. I've been dealing with it. Clearly it's never going away cause I recently got surgery for it. As I told y'all December 31st, I got surgery for it and that mug still ain't gone. So like, it still like beats me up every now and then and i honestly just got my surgery wound to close you know what i'm saying like it's been open me i mean it could have been closed but i didn't want stitches i did not want stitches i wanted to naturally clo naturally close so that's what i was allowing it to do let me brush this powder off mm -hmm. But yeah, I wanted it to naturally close, so I was allowing it to take its time. And it's, I should've got stitches. Like, <laughs> I should've got stitches. But no, no, <laughs> I wanted it to naturally close. I should've got stitches, y'all, real talk, I should've got stitches. But, um, let me do this blush before I Girls can never say they want it. Girls can never say, yeah. Girls can't never say they need it Girls can't never say nah Girls can't never say they want it Girls can't never say nah Girls can't never But yeah, so I wanted it to naturally close and We've been doing stuff this year and it's been a real struggle with me like I couldn't go to the beach and I'm a Floridian and Y'all excuse I my video, I'm really sorry like I don't know exactly where my camera on my phone just stopped recording and i guess it just wouldn't record again um i will again add the clips that y'all see um that i did manage to get but whatever i didn't get i'm so sorry but i am gonna still post this video this is the final look hopefully it doesn't look crazy i know it looks sort of bad because i don't have lashes on but again me and strip lashes we just don't get along right now so I know with lashes on, this look would be popping, but for a beginner, I really think I did a very good job. I am recording off my iPad right now, so. But yes, um, I did set my face with setting spray. I don't think people got that part, so I did use the NYX Radiant Finish Setting Spray. Again, everything that I use will be linked in the description box down below so make sure y'all check that out thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in make sure you watch other videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe and peace out guys.